You guys wanna see what a corgi taco is? Corgi taco. It's a corgi taco. <laughs> You're a little taco baby. <laughs> Look at his face. I'm gonna eat you! I'm gonna eat you up! You're a corgi sushi! No, 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 no. What's up, guys? I'm headed off to work out with my friends at Google. I'm gonna check out their gym. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do today. Check out this area. This is pretty cool. Mountain View. I'm gonna grab some food. Walking through Mountain View. It's where Google's located. It's such a nice day outside. Oh, look at these ramens. We got our rice here. It looks so good. Look at that. Yes. Ha. Ah. I just got back from the pet store and I got Gatsby his new food here. I'm gonna try this new one out. This is for puppies to adults. It's a product of the USA, which is of course, really good. And it is signature trout and salmon. They, oh, everyone says it's like the best. I looked it up online, it has really good reviews. It doesn't have that much protein, which is also good because corgi puppies tend to gain weight super, super, super fast due to the super high protein that they put. Everyone in the store, they're like, we guarantee that they'll love it. It has blueberries in it. Ooh, trout and salmon peas, sunflower oil. It has all the good stuff in here. Chickpeas, flaxseed, awesome. So I'm gonna slowly introduce this into his diet. I'm sure he'll love it. And on top of that, guess what I got? I got a box. What does it say? Fresh ramen noodles, keep refrigerated once received. Yep, that's right. The people from Sun Noodle Company who saw my ramen video on how to make ramen really loved it and they sent me some noodles, which is awesome. So let's check it out. Look at this. Oh my gosh, all this awesome ramen here. I got tonkotsu ramen here. That's the pork broth one. I got tantan ramen. That's the sesame, spicy sesame flavored. Some miso ramen there. Kedama ramen without soup base. I wonder what you do with that. Hmm, interesting. I got some shoyu ramen. That's the soy sauce one. Awesome. I guess I get to try all these out. Thanks to the Sun Noodle Ramen Company. Theirs is awesome because look, the noodles are actually already made here. They're not the dried out kind. I really like it. They're not paying me or anything. They just thought that they would give me a gift, <laughs> which is nice. It's not like the instant kind. You actually have to make it, but it tastes so much better. And of course, Gatsby's like, hey, guy. Hey, dude. I love you. Look at the stuffed animal here. He's a little stuffed animal. Oh, it's a moving stuffed animal. <gasps> He's like a robotic stuff. Oh my gosh, he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> are you a corgi? Gatsby, are you a corgi? What is that? You're still so cute even though you got so big. Let's see if he likes the new food mixed in. They said that it's like very delicious. Okay, it looks like he likes it now. He was just trying it out. Good doggy. Looks like he liked it, it's all gone. Doing some more aquarium maintenance right now. I'm gonna switch out the Foss Guard, another way to try to get rid of this Bryopsis here. I have very little left, it's only like a table, like less than half a tablespoon. So I'm gonna change that out at least. This is pretty gross, this bag is disgusting. Okay, we cleaned it out, the bio bag here. I'm gonna fill it up with the rest of this stuff. This is what it looks like. And then you gotta rinse out all the, watch this, watch the water. Disgusting. Okay, and we stick this in the back of the tank. Okay, make sure the water passes over it. There we go. Have fun. You're gonna be phosphate free. Okay, it's time to show off a little bit of our clicker training that we do. We have, I have the clicker right over here. If you don't know what clicker is, it's kind of like to help train a dog with a Pavlovian response. What you'd be able to do is you click 
when they do something good so that it's easier to train in the long run because they would know that a click means that it is correct, that they're doing the right thing. So I got my clicker here and I got some oven roasted turkey breast. So we're gonna try this out and I'll show you a little bit of what we've been working on. Gatsby, come, sit. Good dog. Hey, Gatsby, stay. Good dog. Here you go. Stay. Good dog. Good dog. You're so smart. You're so smart, Gatsby. The other good thing is that Gatsby's already getting really good at pottying in the right place. Right, Gatsby? When we went to my friend's place with the other Corgi, I just brought a potty pad to see if he would potty on it. And sure enough, he did. He was able to do it correctly. So he's been doing it pretty much all the time. A lot of you guys are like, why are you teaching him on a potty pad? Oh, he's doing it right now, see? Sure enough, he's gonna go. He's using the bathroom. Good potty! Good potty, Gatsby! Good potty, Gatsby! He pretty much learned right away. He barely had any accidents. He's so smart. I, when Aaron came over, my old roommate, he was like, my gosh, he knows how to potty already? Like, that's amazing. Because usually the potty training takes like months. So anyway, a lot of you guys are like, why are you teaching him to potty in the apartment when you should train him to do it outside? But th the problem is that since I live in an apartment, it's hard for me because I have to take the elevator down to bring him outside. The second problem, which is the main problem, is that he's not allowed to go outside because he's not vaccinated yet. So I don't have a backyard or anything. I only have this apartment. Pretty much I have to teach him to go on the pads and once he gets old enough, he'll, I can train him to go outside once he's vaccinated. And the easiest way to do that is to just bring a potty pad outside and have him learn to go outside. This system is a good system, if you didn't know, I got it. It's called the Potty Training Puppy Apartment. It was really that easy. But of course, corgis are really easy to train because they're really smart. A lot of people are like, how are you able to get such a, like, a good puppy? Ooh is that I was able to like work with the breeder. I think that's like one of the, the best, the main thing. Go and get it. Yay, good job. I think that's one of the main things is um, being able to work with a breeder and making sure that you get the best pup, get the pick of the litter. There you go. So I pretty much was able to do that. They told me which one was the best puppy. Since they were in Kansas and I'm in California, I wasn't able to actually like, you know, see the puppy in person. So what we ended up doing was we scheduled a few video conferences, just did FaceTime, and I was able to see all the puppies and pick the one out. His name actually was Austin, <laughs> with them. Your name was Austin, now it's Gatsby. People were asking me um, some questions on tips and stuff like that, how to train the dog very well. A lot of it is an investment. The more time that you invest in the puppy in the beginning, the better they'll reward you later on. Read a lot of articles online. I think watching Caesar Milan the Dog Whisperer really does help a lot, especially the puppy episode. I think it's on YouTube. A lot of it is really being calm and assertive. You have to be consistent with the puppy, right? Right, Gatsby? If you let them do one thing, you can't just all of a sudden be like, when you get bigger, you can't do that anymore, so. I really just treat him like he is an adult. <laughs> Another thing is um, that I just don't want is I noticed that he gets some separation anxiety when I would leave him. So um, a big thing was teaching him to play by himself when you leave the house. So what I do is I put him in the kennel and then I just walk out. I don't say bye or anything like that. And when I come back, don't make a big deal about it. He actually just wakes up and then he just is very quiet and just greets me. He doesn't jump or anything. I should film it one time when I come home. Everyone is like shocked. When we open the door and we enter the house, he's, he just wakes up and then it's just like, oh, hi. <laughs> and he looks, he doesn't jump around or anything like that. So he's the best dog. Like he likes to crawl underneath. Here he goes, crawling underneath. My hand tastes like turkey. <laughs> you just learn these things after having, <laughs> after having two dogs already. And I think I was really lucky with Gatsby in the sense that he doesn't bark. <laughs> or he, he did a little bit when I got him, like very little to try to get my attention. I just totally ignored it like they said to do. 
and he just learned that he can't get my attention by barking, so he doesn't really do anything. I think you should like ask your breeder too, because apparently corgis are very yappy dogs. They tend to bark a lot. The breeder that I went through, they were like, yeah, our dogs somehow just never bark. So I think the best thing to do if you're looking for a dog is to speak with your breeder and you have to find a breeder that's willing to work with you. You're the best. Okay. Ah. I think another good thing to do to train the puppy is to leave them alone. I don't mean like walking out of the room, but it means just keeping an eye on them and letting them do their own thing while you're in the room. Like right now, I'm like doing my work on my computer, keeping an eye on him, but he's able to play by himself. I want a dog that can be independent and be able to be by himself and do his own thing <laughs> while I'm doing my work. I don't want him to be so dependent on me. My gosh, this puppy, what are you up to? There he goes. Look at this guy's dirty paws. My gosh. Good thing I'm gonna wash it. I just washed them off with water and a, like a soft sponge. But my gosh, that would have been all over my carpet. Do you smell? <gasps> oh. He's so smart. This is gonna take forever for him to get it out. I'm so happy because the other one took like one minute. Oh my gosh! 